Hello everyone, welcome back to the section 5 of the course Internet of Things using Python and Raspberry Pi. This is the first video of section 5 Secure HTTPS IoT Server and User Login, where we will be securing our newly created custom domain with SSL TLS Let's Encrypt certificates. So moving forward, the first step which we will take to secure our website is to use Let's Encrypt Certification Authority. You can read more about this by going into their website. It is free, automated and open source certification authority, which is used by many of the developers and the companies and is also backed by major sponsors like all of these. The first step of using Let's Encrypt to obtain an SSL certificate is to install CertPart software on your server. So we connect with our server by using PuTTY. And first, let's add the repository of CertBot. sudo add app repository ppa semicolon CertBot backslash CertBot. This is the PPA for package prepared by Debian Let's Encrypt team and backed for Ubuntu, which looks good. We are going to press enter. Now we need to update the package list to pick up the new repository that we recently added. sudo apt-get update. And finally install the cert port from the new repository. sudo apt-get install python cert port apache The cert port Let's Encrypt in client is now ready to be used. Now we need to set up our SSL certificate for Apache using the certport Let's Encrypt client. For that we are going to run sudo certport dash dash apache dash d and the name of our domain. We also need to add the www domain as well. You will be asked to provide an email just in case if you lost the key and this email will be used for the recovery. So you can provide in your email address. Agree. For this I am not willing to share my email address so I will say no. So here we are asked whether we want to redirect our HTTP traffic to HTTPS. Definitely we do want that. So we'll type in do, enter. So looks like the installation has finished. So we should be able to find our generated certificate files at etc let's encrypt live. Now we can also verify the status of our SSL certificate by going into the SSL labs.com slash SSL test. Here we will provide our DNS name. Oh, so looks like the assessment has failed, unable to connect to the server. Oh, I think I know the reason. That's because we haven't assigned inbound security rules for HTTPS in our remote server from AWS. So let's do that quickly. EC2 instance launch wizard 2 inbounds. Here you can see we only have HTTP and SSH. So we are going to edit this add rule. HTTPS save. The default port for HTTPS is 443. So now if we try to refresh this, this takes a bit time to complete so we're gonna wait for a while. So looks all good. We have got the details of our SSL certificate which is specifically signed for our own server, packed IoT server with an issuing authority as Let's Encrypt and it is valid from today till almost three months. As you know, this is a free certification authority, so it expires every three months. So you have to renew after it expires. So now if you go to our packed IoT server, we will be redirected from HTTP to HTTPS with a green lock mentioning that it is secure. We can check the certificate here as well. Issued to packed IoT server, issued by Let's Encrypt Authority and the validation dates. Which looks quite perfect. So I guess we have fully secured our website. Now every client connected with this server will have an end-to-end -end encrypted communication.